Hey, welcome back once again to another episode of the EasyBreakDance.com, your online guide to the dance, art form, culture, and the battle. I'm your host and coach, Dizzy of the Supernaturals, and in this episode, I'll be showing you the basics on how to build combos. Combos are a string of moves which flow and fit together and when effective are much like a combination of punches, well, if using boxing as an analogy. The most important part of combinations are to land hits on your opponent, otherwise the combo is ineffective. So the question you may be wondering is, what makes a move hit or effective? An effective move is when it causes your opponent humiliation or damage to their ego and confidence. Many b-boys get lost in the art of movement that they forget that this dance was created for the battle. Therefore, all battle combos should end in battle moves that are A, a burner, B, a freeze, or C, a spin. With that said, here are the basics of building effective combos. Firstly, you want to build combos based on your battle moves. Many b-boys build a combination of transitions that don't lead to anything. All the moves in a combo should be leading up to the final blow. Secondly, you want to understand that there is a formula for building good combos and a mathematical equation behind it. In episode 4, How to Flip Moves and Not Bite, we went over the three parts of every move, which is the transition entrance, the move, and the exit transition. But for battle combos, the exit transition isn't as important because battle combo moves should end up with a cocky gesture or a b-boy stance. So the formula would look something like this. Number one, freestyle transition. Number two, fresh concept into your concept transition, into your battle move, and then number five, a stance or gesture. But now that we already know what battle moves are, and I'm sure you already know what a b-boy stance and its importance, I'll break down what the first three parts of a good combo is. So the first part is the freestyle transition and should be the trigger that easily comes from your freestyle, a pattern or individual foundation. Majority of b-boys when freestyling get lost in the moment and forget what moves to do. So the trigger should be a simple but unique movement that will automatically mentally trigger a series of combinations. Be careful to not use the same trigger for all your combos or your moves or you may be accidentally triggering the wrong combo at the wrong time. Number two, the fresh concept should be a dope move which sets up, complements, or foreshadows the battle move. Number three, the concept transition is both simultaneously the exit transition of the fresh concept and the transition entrance of the battle move. Majority of b-boys build their combos by starting with a freestyle transition, then stringing a whole bunch of moves together until they eventually find an ending. While this is quite normal, an alternative and more advanced way to build a good combo is to start backwards with the ending first. Like so. First, firstly, start with the ending first, the final freeze or big burner. Then, number two, select a fresh concept move that will set up, complement, or foreshadow the battle move. You can choose a fresh concept that has similar quality to the battle move. One of the most common types are thread combos, which happens to be my personal favorite and specialty. Thirdly, find the perfect link between the fresh concept and the battle moves. Make sure that the concept transition is the most simplified and easy version possible. And number four, now that you have the main combo, it's about finding the perfect freestyle transition that will lead into your combo. Now that you have the tools for creating fresh combos, just remember that creating the moves and finding the right ones that go together, that takes a lot of time. Some of my combos I created took 10 years to finally perfect. Many of my combos are still being refined and tweaked until this very day. Creating combos can be long, tedious, and frustrating. However, very rewarding in the long run because good combos are timeless weapons of art on the dance floor and are easier to become recognized as your signatures. Anyways guys, thanks for watching EasyBreakDance.com. I'll see you in the next episode and remember, impossible is temporary.